Hey my friends, how's it going? Yeah, it's Ultimus, and the matches I have for you today are coming from the skirmish event that I was able to actually participate in this time around on my Warrior. Didn't really need to, as I'm fully geared, I've got my second weapon for Fury already. Um, I just kind of want to stockpile the conquest points because I like playing the game, and it means more gold at the end of the season. So, what we have is I decided to queue in for threes for the heck of it, uh, aside from just doing my normal 2v2s. Uh, I've really been wanting to do threes recently, and it's, all that aside, to not sound too complaining, so I decided to uh, just do skirmishes. Uh, this time, getting stuck with a triple DPS, and I say stuck with because the composition doesn't really necessarily work. Like, Hunter and Warrior works, Rhett and Hunter works, but all three of us together don't really work. And we don't really work, especially against a legitimate, like, comp here with a healer, Feral, and a Hunter. However, luckily the healer didn't quite know what they were doing, so our goal was to just sit Feral hard. And so we're popping everything, and as you can see, the Feral went down very, very quickly without much too, uh, without too much trouble. And so now I'm just swapping over to the Priest, cleaving both of them down. We've got the bleeds up there on both because I'm greedy and want the extra damage, and I figure why the heck not. So Priest is dropping pretty fast, as you can see, he didn't really use any cooldowns on himself, no paints up, nothing. And the Hunter's going to pop the uh, de last defensive he's got there as a last ditch effort, but there's really not much he's going to be able to do against the three of us left. And we sweep in and I'm able to land all three kills there, which is always very satisfying. Switching back to some 2v2s, because we ended up losing a game after that, and you know how it works, you lose one game and everybody leaves. So we decided to just do the twos, and I got paired up with a very good Death Knight, which was really exciting. Uh, this DK knew their stuff, and so it was quite fun, and it was a real treat to be able to play. I forgot how much damage Fully Geared Frost Death Knights do. Um, I'm normally on the receiving end of it, but it was kind of nice to play with one. So Strat here, as always, popping out of the stun and popping the fear. Uh, I'm taking a lot of damage, so I'm going to pop my Enrage Regen first. Still sitting hard on the Hunter, taking advantage of the fact that they are both stacked up very hard. So Sweeping Strikes, Whirlwind, and Bladestorm paid huge dividends there for me, uh, rather than popping it on single target foes. Switching to Defensive Stancer to help mitigate a little bit of that damage from the row, because I don't want to die. I'm very confident we got this, but I just didn't really feel like dying. Um, ended up splitting the kills evenly there on that one. Pretty happy with that match overall. Next one here, we have a Boomy Beast Mastery Hunter combo. Uh, a little bit scary, not too well, not too sure how these two classes synergize together, but on their own, they both give me a little bit of trouble just because of how much damage Boomies do and Beast Master Hunters as well. Um, I don't really know what the Hunter was doing. There's no reason his pet shouldn't have been out there attacking us already. So already I was feeling fairly confident, but I knew there's still a lot of damage. So there's the leap, the trinket to try to sit on the boomy. I'm popping spell reflect. I'm popping as many defensives as I can. I hate doing that. I really, really do. But sometimes I feel like it's all I can do to survive heavy damage comps. Ended up landing that kill there. Instead of trying to get on the hunter for my uh, victory rush, I decided to use it on the pet instead. Um, sometimes that's my biggest strategy is if I got a pet on me, I'm going to use the victory rush on the pet or anything else that's in my way that I can land it on rather than trying to catch up to the enemy because sometimes by the time I get there, I'm dead. This time we have for our last match a subtlety rogue and a frost death knight. Now, I ended up asking my uh, death knight who he wanted to go and I didn't really get a response. So luckily the two of them were, I don't want to say dumb enough, but dumb enough to sit there on top of us. So as you saw there, of course, Fear was the big opening move, and then just the cleave damage goes, and there's literally nothing they can do about it. They both go down pretty quickly. The Death Knight's dead. I'm gonna intervene there to my buddy just in case. I take the stun, but the death, the uh, rogue's gonna drop right back down into the execute, and that's game. But guys, I hope you enjoyed watching these. I'm enjoying making them for you. I'm glad to be getting back in and actually having time to get a little more PvP in. So hope you are excited about that as much as I am. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.